So today we are going to do a very simple sketch of uh, Big Ben. Uh, the way to make it really simple is I'm going to do it on a, like a sunset situation. So the the buildings themselves going to be just a dark black shadows and the nice effect is going to be achieved by the really beautiful sunset sky. So I'm just going to go straight away and mark my, mark my tower. It's probably not going to be a super architecturally accurate, but it's going to be recognizable. So I started a little bit off center because I want to put a little bit more of the, of the cityscape in in here and I'm trying to preserve the proportions and also the symmetry so that's quite important in architectural sketching and I don't want to I don't well I don't want I don't need to go into too much detail in in the in the buildings because as I said they're gonna be dark shadows but I'm going to for example, the clock, I am going to put a little bit in more detail because, well, I'll show you why in a bit. So just uh, trying to get an essence of the, of the building in. And then it's kind of going a little bit more narrow. But if you have a look at the shape overall, it's not actually that complicated. So if we go with this shadowy look, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so... That's my, that's my Big Ben in the shape. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of a silhouette of the neighboring buildings just, just an overall feel. Again, I'm not too worried about the detail because we are not going to see a lot of detail. And then there's another one just like this. I think I made it a bit wrong in the way that they're a little bit bigger, which is fine. I'm just going to increase it because it's all going to be a shadow. And the next one. And then there is a bit of a drop. And then there is something else on the background. And then we have a little bit of the of the building on the other side. And that's it actually. Actually, I'm just going to leave it like this. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but I promise you it's going to be fine. So I'm just going to go straight ahead and start with my with my sky. 
sky. So I'm going to start with blue, but then gradually I'm just going to be adding some sunset colors into it. Here we just need to make sure that we go gradually through analog colors like blues, then purples, then cool reds, then reds, then oranges, so that we are not creating any mud in our colors. And I'm purposefully going to go over my buildings because again I'm going to explain why in a bit. Well, it's going to be quite clear once we finish this. I can add a little bit more of a red in here and a bit more of a yellow. And I'm just going to finish it here. And now I need to leave it to dry. Okay, I think my background is sufficiently dry. So now you can have a couple options. You can just um, do your shadows with uh, black paint, with uh, black marker. I'm going to use uh, Indian ink, or you can use Chinese ink, or any ink for that matter. So I like ink because it's got very nice opacity quality, so it's kind of, it's quite, in, in one layer you can um, cover achieve quite a good cover so you don't need to repeat it and I'm just going to use it with with a brush just like I use watercolor and I tried to find a brush that's got quite a fine end but I'm not sure it worked and the reason I left uh, the reason I went with my background over the the buildings is that in places you can leave some areas untouched and it will sort of give an effect of reflected light. just again it's sketching so we don't need to be precise or anything like that I'm just going over around my outlines and then just filling in now the big the big guy Again, trying to leave some of the areas untouched so that it got this reflected light effect so that it's not completely pitch black. And especially here, the clock I'm going to leave because it's actually lit, the clock, so it will be visible even in the dark. And then it's kind of, it's got like, almost like stories in the floors. So I'm going to try to recreate those like levels. A little bit here at the top. My brush could have been a bit finer but hey whatever works and now I'm got this this side here 
the opposite side of the bridge. And now I'm just simply going to change to a larger brush. With the ink I just wash the brush as usual in the in the water. And now I'm just with a bigger brush, I'm just going to cover larger areas. I really like the the proper proper ink effect. It just creates this nice coverage. Very opaque. And it looks a bit weird now because parts of the ink are dry, the others are wet, so it looks a little bit patchy. But believe me, when it dries, it's all gonna look nice and uniform. So that's it. That's our big pen or London cityscape in the sunset.